We're here today in Villa Vicencio, Colombia, seeing the world's largest aquascape ecosystem pond filled with hundreds of different fish from the Amazon River. It has an arapaima in it, an arowana. It's got hundreds of koi fish and some turtles. I promise you, you'll have never seen a pond like this. And we're about to go swimming inside. Now, how do I get down from here? Guys, we're here super early in the morning so that we can have private access to the pond. We wanted to be able to film this without any people around so that we could avoid wearing the masks. I think you guys are gonna freak out. Wow! Guys, oh my gosh, this is insane. Look how massive this pond is. Holy, look at this. Look at all these koi. Look how big these koi are. <laughs> Jeez, man, these are some fat koi. Catfish, you got some paku in there. Guys, this is so cool. Special thanks to Greg Whitstock and Ed the Pond Professor. Those are the guys who built this massive pond. They're also the ones that got us the private access this morning, so. He's calling the fish every morning at the same time. The fishes are used to it. Guys are feeding all the koi. What kind of a pond tour would this be if we didn't get inside? Oh, Baywatch. <laughs> So many different types of fish. You have the bottom dwellers with the catfish. You have the koi fish, which are kind of all over the place. The arapaima is roaming around. Okay. It's crazy. I don't want to get too close because it's so powerful. Its tail will just absolutely destroy me. So I'm really not trying to pick a fight with an arapaima today. Beneath this piece of wood, there's a red tailed catfish. It's massive. How cool is this place? Aquascape actually was in charge of this entire space. This project utilized more than 5,000 tons of boulders and gravel, oversized mechanical filters. The combined flow rate is over 450,000 gallons of water recirculated every hour. Designed to replicate the swift moving streams found in Colombia, filled with native fish found in the local Orinoco River watershed, visitors just sit and wonder how this was created in the middle of an urban environment. And it's just so cool because all of these waterfalls, there must be a dozen of them, they're man-made. I know Ed, Brian, and Greg all worked on this for months, for almost a year, I believe. To be able to engineer it, somebody had the creativity to imagine this stream and then to build it. When you're walking up and down these, it literally feels like you're walking through a stream in the jungle. You totally forget that you're in a shopping center. We're heading up now to the main offices of the shopping center to meet the owner of the shopping center whose name is? Don Camilo. What year did you build the shopping center? We built that about four years ago. And what was the inspiration behind it? The inspiration was nature. A lot of people don't like to involve nature with cement. I think you mark a difference when you involve nature into all the things you do. Everybody loves yes. nature. Everyone. Everyone. That's why I write nature books. <laughs> <laughs> Out behind the shopping center, there was actually a forest. And so what the owner of the shopping center wanted was continuation of nature into his building and into this space. And I think they were very successful because it literally feels like the jungle is splitting right through the mall. You totally forget that you're in a shopping center. You feel like you're exploring nature. Back here leads into the forest, the real forest. They did not cut any tree, nothing at all. It's all original. And he did not want to destroy it. That's why all the walkway you see is high up. So they didn't take anything down. And you have an authentic Greek. You see the Greek is untouched. The natural trees, the philodendrons and everything. It's very nice. You're in the forest. Exactly. We're about 20 feet from the, the Primavera, from the shopping center. And you see around there are the main traffic streets. People come from all over Colombia to see the pond. The pond is one of a kind, so yeah. this place is very special. Definitely. Ed is very special. All of them were nice guys, but Ed, I always remember Ed. I asked him, why don't you put people to put together the, the tubes? tubes yeah. He said, no, because yeah. we guarantee when we do it ourselves. Yeah. I said, that's the best answer. The aquascape pond that they built goes this way, and Ed was actually smart enough to realize the little river, the creek that runs over here, he doesn't want the water from the creek to come and move towards their pond and he doesn't want the water from his pond when it rains to go into the creek. So he wanted to keep them separate
it. You put these big rocks here. And he didn't want the rocks to fall into the creek. So the rocks are held by this wall. Very well done. And I guess it's unique worldwide. Before we start our first expedition, we have a little surprise for you. Oh yeah? What's that? <laughs> Some official and exclusive khaki coral fish 12G into the Amazon shirt and hat. It's only gonna be available for the duration of our trip here in the Amazon. I never had a marine fish t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Every American asked the question, which I love so much. They asked for our budget. I said, I don't have a budget. They love that stuff, you know? <laughs> <laughs> when they built it, there was no plan. Now it's a gigantic jungle. It has grown like there's no tomorrow. Guys, it's so overgrown since they first built it. All the waterfalls lead to here because this is the intake. So this is where the water comes before it gets pumped all the way back up. You'll see there's lots of koi here because all the food gets washed down to here. And that circulation is what allows for this huge bio load with all the fish inside of here. I don't think they've done a single water change on this. They don't clean it out, it's completely natural. All these turtles you see were donated by local people. They find the turtles and bring them here. And here they grow up. So that's why you don't see any small ones because they've grown up already. So this young lady, they just brought this turtle as a donation for the aquarium. They wow. do not want them to die or to get into polluted water. So they think here they have a better chance to survive. Muchas gracias. I'm a dream. Bring something, I try to do it. So we're not a people who do projects every year. It's dreams. Why don't you tell Carlos to take you to my house? Now we're on our way to Don Camilo's house. Oh, and yeah, of all of this property we're passing through, which is guarded by the police. Right. They also have a massive pond behind their house, right? It's Next full time. of some exotic fish. Crocodile, everything. here like this or you guys sort of create it? This was a, a cattle farm cattle. and a cattle farmer in Colombia they destroy everything. He has done this by purpose to have a private conservation area which protects the animals. So this is a pretty much completely man-made. Yeah. It took a lot of work to get it oh, yeah. to look oh. like this. Something like 17 hectares in, in lakes. You have all the fish there. Pacus, gigantic oh. Pacus. They probably weigh about 200 kilos. How many you think you have in here? Something like 50? 50. Yeah, 50. But in the other lake in the middle, mm -hmm. they procreated there. And they breed by themselves. Uh-huh. This is a stream of water in the uh, jungle. It looks more like this. Ponds, aquarium, fish, marine life, you name it. You're going to get it on this channel. So hit that red button. Now we're about to go film their massive aquarium. Built to look like it's in the middle of a tree. Just click that and you're going to get to see part two of this unbelievable shopping center. 